Hi, I'm Becca from Assay Genie. Today I'm going to be talking to you about monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies. Antibodies, which are also known as immunoglobulins, are Y-shaped proteins composed of two heavy chains and two light chains. They are produced by B cells and function to neutralize antigens of pathogens such as viruses and bacteria. Monoclonal antibodies bind to one specific epitope of an antigen and therefore have a high degree of specificity. Polyclonal antibodies are usually produced by a number of different B cells and have the ability to recognize and bind to multiple epitopes of an antigen. Polyclonal antibodies do not have the same degree of specificity than monoclonal. Monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies have broad experimental and clinical uses. They are often used as drugs to treat cancers and inflammatory diseases. For example, the drug known as fersiptin is a monoclonal antibody that targets the protein HER2, which is found on the surface of some cancer cells such as breast and stomach cancers. Adalimumab is a monoclonal antibody that targets the protein TNF, which is involved in inflammation. It is used to treat a variety of inflammatory diseases, including Crohn's disease and rheumatoid arthritis. Monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies are used in research. They can be used to detect and purify proteins. ILISA, immunohistochemistry, chemistry, western blotting and immunoprecipitation all use monoclonal or polyclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are generated by clones of B cells that have been exposed to a single antigen. They are produced by ex vivo techniques such as tissue culturing. The process begins with an injection of an antigen into an animal such as a mouse. Once the immune response starts, the B cells are isolated and fused with a myeloma cell line, creating immortalized B cell myeloma hybridomas. The antibody producing hybridomas are then screened for desired monoclonal antibody. Polyclonal antibodies are produced in vivo by injecting an animal with an immunogen. After being injected with a specific antigen to elicit the immune response, the animal is given subsequent immunization to produce higher quantities of antibodies against the antigen. Polyclonal antibodies can be obtained straight from serum. To find out more about this or other key technologies at Assay Genie, you can find us online or on any major social platform such as LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter.